For this task, we had to create a work of art that showcased our understanding of color juxtaposition and how to use warm and cool colors to represent that subject matter. In the early stages of creating this work, I had some difficulties applying this knowledge, but I found that creating smaller studies helped me to better understand the concept. In the end, my choice of subject matter, paired with the understanding of how to use color more effectively, helped to create a piece that I'm very happy with. Overall, this exercise was incredibly helpful, and I'll definitely apply what I learned while doing it to other works in the future. For the first stage of this painting, I started off with a preliminary sketch using a mixture of blue and brown to indicate where each object would be. This is the stage where I fill in the blocks in basic clouds with basic colors of each object. I wasn't rushing the process or running into details very quickly at this point. At this stage, I began to get a bit more technical in terms of tones, highlights, forms, and a little bit of details. We were tasked with creating a still life composition that was more than just representational, while applying color principles that we learned in the previous exercise. I chose to create a composition based around a very traditional Indian dish, coconut choco. I think that choosing themes that have personal meaning to us is the first step in creating a work that does more than just look nice. While creating the piece, I placed a lot of emphasis on the composition and I ensured that the composition told the story and led the viewer through the work. I also employed an impressionistic brushstroke technique, where the brushstrokes are very visible and blending is kept to a minimum. Overall, I'm really happy with the outcome and I intend to create more still life pieces that do more than capture a random pile of objects.
Art has been more of a developing language to me, one which allows me to freely express myself with something stronger than words. I'm 21 years old, and I'm currently a third-year student at the E.R. Burroughs School of Art. During my time there, I've learned to make various changes and do what it takes to improve my art. It works. I've been working with various objects in compositions, but nothing appeals to me more than the human body in its natural form. It is very expressive. Nudity in my works focuses on the psychological as well as the physical aspects of the human body. Art gives me the ability to create more than I consume. I believe the artist's role, above all things, is to be as true to themselves as they can within society, the community, and the world at large, to unearth the truth and stir up emotions in the viewers. People will forget what you said, People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. This is a quote from the great Maya Angelou. Art is the expression of the most profound thoughts in the simplest way. As Albert Einstein stated, everything I do, I believe in passion. It gives me a purpose in life, helps me to create and communicate from inside out. My name is Atasha Bowell and I was born in Mahaika on the 7th of May, 1999. Art rescued me. Ambivalent emotions, sensual personality, curious mind and a passionate soul guided me in painting my inmost passage of life. I explore my limbic brain using acrylic, watercolor, and pastel and alla prima techniques using landscapes, portraits, still lives as my main subject matters. It's amazing how colors and lines kisses and dances with each other on my canvas and panels. Paint has such tantalizing effect on me, even though at times I shiver to create. What a joy it is to taste your own work and have an erotic and fiery relationship with painting. I didn't choose painting, painting chose me. My goal is to have my art speak what I feel at the depths of the soul. Imagine, eight years ago he hanged himself and I never knew why. The aim of the class was to use warm and cool grays to complement warm colors along with studying the juxtaposition to create a painted composition. Hang was created with this aim in mind. Construction lines were first used to fill the hardness of the shapes and forms of such unfortunate sight. Using my uncle's favorite fruit mango and placing it in his house was ideal for this composition but memories, boy, it drastically brought tears. Every color, lines, textures and stroke was hung within me. Abstract shapes of colors and lines were slapped in secondly with no hesitation as the yellow seed of richness like a light left his body as blue surrounds the room. To finish off, just like the impressionist artist, I captured the scene in a fleeting moment and used my colors and imagination symbolically to recreate such a painful sight. Rough sandpaper marked me with dreadful emotions as my bloody mind trunks the canvas with colors. The aim of the class was to create and paint an interesting still life composition with no less than four objects and study color principle. Let me wrap you in my rare ropes of lines and see if you won't break your head. This piece was created with the aim in mind. 
Pit Bull Lang first kisses my white canvas in utmost freedom, spirally tied in red emotional strawberry ropes as hopeless bananas shape the composition and a rough texture restraining dog chain hold to control. Abstract shapes and colors secondly fed the starving canvas with dull, uncertain colors. Thick and thin lines of torture and torment whip screaming banana, and it peeled out pressured and the head broke. Blues strike to comfort as green mother nature holds the head from such a rough, controlled ghetto life. The finish, subtle use of emotional stroke was made on each object making it sing with content. I am Alessia Suivia Evans, a second year student at the ER Borough School of Arts, BSc. I've been doing paintings and drawings from a very young age and wanted to expand my knowledge more in the fine arts. I base most of my work on social issues and portraiture. My primary reason for doing this kind of work is to raise awareness and portray the things persons are suffering from and sometimes too scared to speak about. About my portrait works, I usually don't just paint because I want to. I take the time to study the individuals and their emotions during that set time and do my best to capture the emotions and portray it in my art. I do most of my paintings with acrylics because it's durable, flexible and vibrant. I am currently exploring and attempting new techniques and approaches in my artwork. For this assignment, we were assigned to create a painting composition using a subject matter of our choice with a specified color palette. Using warm and cool grays to complement our warm colors as well as demonstrating our understanding of the concept of color juxtaposition. I had chosen to work with a Zern palette for the first time. It basically consists of four colors that I had including blue for my background. I have found the Zern palette to be a great learning tool as it limits the number of possible decisions but allow a wide enough amount of colors to create a stunning painting. While I was at the stage of gathering information, I was facing some problems understanding the warm and cool grace and how to apply the information to my painting. But after some time I was able to gain some form of understanding on how to apply the information to the painting. I use juxtaposition to emphasize on my concept delicate beauty using two primary colors, red and yellow hibiscus and sunflower. My first time using the Zern palette was not that bad and I'm happy with the outcome of the painting. I will definitely continue to use the color palette and extend my knowledge and understanding to produce more stunning paintings.